I've been waiting all year to chase the deer. Now the season has come to go. I've been scouting a trail on a white oak ridge. Somehow I just know. If I climb a tree, deer will come by me. That moment of truth will arrive. Most people don't understand me. I'm a bow hunter, do or die. I love the sticks. I love the strings. I love to shoot an arrow away. I love the sights, the smells, and the sounds in the outdoors where I play. I'm tradition, I am history. I love to watch the feathered shafts fly. I don't hunt to live, I live to hunt. I'm a bow hunter, do or die. Where you'll find me is no mystery in some secluded place. I'll be the one in camouflage with paint all over my face. I'll be sitting there quietly listening to some old coyotes cry. Where I belong, part of nature's song, a bow hunter do or die. I love the sticks, I love the strings, I love to shoot an arrow away. I love the sights, the smells, and the sounds in the outdoors where I play. I'm tradition, I am history. I love to watch the feathered shafts fly. I don't hunt to live, I live to hunt. I'm a bow hunter, do or die. I love the sticks, I love the strings, I love to shoot and arrow away. I love the sights, the smells, and the sounds of the outdoors where I play. I'm tradition, I am history. I love to watch the feathered shafts fly. I don't hunt to live, I live to hunt. I'm a bow hunter, do or die. I don't hunt to live, I live to hunt. I'm a bow hunter, do or die. You know, guys like I mean, these Fred animals Bear, are the size of Brahma bulls. They look like Brahma bulls. Saxton Pole, Art Young, what an African the adventure. Thompson Brothers. <laughs> Thanks again, Katie, Fred and Billy, and Ben, and Garrett, and Brooke, for letting me go on this. I really appreciate my family. Hi there, I'm Bill Langer, and welcome to Traditional Adventures 4. In this video, we'll be hunting Africa, Texas, Florida, Maine, and Connecticut. I'd like to thank you all for supporting our videos, and I hope you enjoy. Take a picture of I am. What do you think about that, boys? Yeah. I'm gonna miss you guys. Can you give me a kiss? My home is far away from here. I hail from Wyoming. Here, can I have a kiss? You may wonder what I'm doing. Here, can Daddy have a kiss? Where the lion is the king. Like Daddy. I'm gonna miss you on this dark continent. I'm not chasing cows. Mommy, Zebra can you? I had some kissing. Me too. Oh. <laughs> I see that. I got you guys kissing. <laughs> You're traveling now by four wheel drive. Steady. It's finally here. Here's to the trap. Got a cup of coffee going here. Bob, are you ready for Africa or what? Oh, I'm definitely ready for Africa. Two days ago, I saw a vehicle that you all that tank out. Let's go. First stop, Frankfurt, before we head down to Namibia. Uh, about an eight hour flight, and we'll be there. In Stein, Germany, we got like a 12 hour layover for Namibia. And that's a 12 hour flight, so we came down here with Bob's brother Steve. So we're gonna come down to this jazz festival here and walk around. Back in Wyoming, but you've never felt more alive. German beer is supposed to be the best. Salute. Hey, here, here, safe journey in Africa. Is that your special order? Salute. Final flight to Namibia from Frankfurt. It's a 12 hour flight. We're here in Namibia. We've got about a five and a half hour ride, I guess, on the way there. We're about to drive through downtown Windhoek. Yes, sir, I'm going. Bill, please to meet you. You're on this dark continent. 
I'm not chasing cows. This is my father, Dick. Zebra, gazelle, and wolf. Bob Whalen. How are you? Fine, Sal. I'm a dunny. Mike. Mike. Yes, me. Me, Mike. Yes. You're traveling now by the way you drive. And steady is your course. You're searching for adventure. Back home, the West is tame. But like the old frontier and wild beasts. Yeah, it's very expensive. Well, I wanted to spend the first night just following a dung beetle around. So we can find one. That's what I hear he's got something to do. <laughs> a half an hour. <laughs> if he stays close to you, Mike, you'll find him soon. <laughs> Thank you. Kick buffalo, even snakes. You watch constantly for danger. One wrong move is all it would take. And you'll never see your home again. Back in Wyoming. But you've never felt more alive than you every night the lions sing. African cowboy, you've traded in your horse. You're traveling now by four-wheel drive. Steady is your force. You're searching for adventure. Back home the West is tamed. But like the old frontier in Wild Bill's day. Uh, we're here hunting with Makalan Hunt and Safaris. I'm in an elevated box blind here. Uh, and Tony Lau just dropped me off. He's the owner. Um, see what happens. My first, my first day hunting in Africa should be exciting. This kudu bull is not a monster trophy, but it is a mature bull, and that's exactly what I was looking for. All I needed to do was wait for the perfect shot, and he was about to give it to me. My first kudu. Looks like a good hit. Looks like I hit him perfect. I saw the broadhead sticking out the other side when he ran away. Blood was coming out good. <sighs> yes. Man, that's awesome. He's standing right here when I hit it. Looks like I hit it right, you know, behind the shoulder. The arrow went clear to the other side. It had about a foot sticking out of it. And on the first turn, there was blood coming out. There was blood there. Ran like this and hit that tree and fell down once it got up and kept going. That's coming out its right hand side. This would be coming out its left hand side. Or vice versa. Way. Wenzel Woodsman I used. It's the, uh, I've had good luck at it with whitetails. And uh, Dale Karch from Three Rivers sent me a couple packages to try out. I told him I liked them. He said, try them out in Africa. And uh, Wenzel Woodsman's done good so far. Get the front half of the arrow right there. 
pony to your left. I think I'm going to a four blade. I really like to thank my wife and kids for letting me go. Uh, I got a real special wife, and my kids are very understanding, very young. This is uh, my first African animal, Kudu bull. Antoni says it's a mature one. It looked mature by description. Definitely not the biggest around, but it was fun. I am. What do you think about that, boys? <laughs>